okay, I have 5k and I'm doing a custom wall of a Galo Attack plush. Is, is a better. So, what's a better time to be showing off how to make a Galo Attack plush in my life? And yes, even though I don't do Galo Attack anymore, but I'm. But this is a custom model, remember? And everyone really wants a tutorial, so why the heck not? So here's all the things you're gonna be needing. So you're gonna need the main color of fabric for the body, of course. And you're gonna need gray fabric, white, and black. But I'm using black anyway, so we're gonna use this kind of black for the body and the mouth and nose and the eyes, pupils, whatever you wanna call them. But yeah. Also, you're gonna need a sewing equipment like needle, thread. You're gonna definitely need the needle and thread for the chin and the arms and that crap. And if you're lucky, you might have a sewing machine in your house you can use, which I'll be using for the body and the arm attachments and the hands. So, yeah. And plus, you're gonna need hot glue with a couple hot glue sticks to make this thing. So, yeah. And you don't have to hard glue the arms on, but you can you can just sew them, which I'm gonna be doing now with this one. But yeah, so it could be better quality. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh wait, and you're gonna need scissors, scissors, and the thread is gonna be the same color as the body. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So you're gonna need to cut out this shape right here for the head. And yeah, I'll be back when I do that. Alright, I got it all clipped up. And all you're gonna do now is like so. Way to fail. All I'm saying is so right there to all the way right here. Leave this one open. That's gonna be the head part for the neck. Okay, now you're gonna be need to flip this inside out. So, yeah, from the neck. So, let's do that. Okay, we stuffed it. And now, let's get to the jaw, which we're going to move back to here, so. See? Just easy. So, let's get to the jaw, shall we? Now you need to cut out this shape. And remember, get a bit with the head, like. I'll show you later. Alright, cut it out. And then, yeah, it, this is what I mean right here, so. So yeah, so that's basically what you shouldn't like. It's gonna look like. Okay, now we're back here. So what you're gonna do is pin the shin to your monkey, or if you don't have pins, just use your needle for a little bit. But yeah, you can learn the low of the head by the neck. And now you're gonna need your needle and thread. You're gonna sew across along along here, but leave a little hole. Just in case. Leave a little hole, okay? I'll tell you why. So, it's all sewn now, and I left a hole here to stuff it. So, yeah, stuff it and then close it, and I think you got the whole head all sewn, except for the face, which I'll show you in this next point. Okay, now the chin is fully made and stuffed. See? It's like a little bump. But,. But the face, we still gonna make the face. So let's go back to Bill appearances and that crap. <laughs> so yeah, this is the face pattern I made. Even though I don't got the nose and the, and the white dots on the eye of people, so I have no idea what that is. But I don't know what to call it. But yeah, I. All I have is the people, the eye, and the mouth, and the face. So I'm gonna cut all these out. And if you really want, if you want to be lazy, you can print out a picture of the face, like the old plot, glow attack plush. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do the new face. So yeah, without further ado, let's let's get out the face. Ta da! I remodeled the face a little to make the nose. I'm way more accurate because we're anyways yeah so we're gonna take this face and move it to my hot glue area with the head <laughs> there this is my hot glue area area so yeah um so you're gonna need to glue this entire face like 
pot by pot because see yeah you got hot glue by face pot by pot like the eyes by this light to black to white <laughs> and black to gray and yeah you just gotta hot glue this face just like that and after you do that hot glue the face white on the f head so I, I will be doing that so yeah you can see what it looks like Alrighty, now the, now if you, your head looks like this, it, your head is done for the color. Now it's time to move on to the body, which we're going to cut out the body part of course, so let's go there. Oh. Forgot to mention, you got to add it on the ears as well, so yeah. Hot, the way you can do it is hot glue them by the sides, like, like that. And yeah. Yeah, I would teach you how to do the body after this. Okay, now to the actual body this time. So, you're going to need to cut out two of half circles. Half circles, kind of, like, but it's like, whoop, blue, like, stretched. But yeah, just, just cut out this shape right here. And then after that, I will tell you what to do after that. Alrighty, alrighty. After you cut it out, so, white heel to white heel. And leave this one open so you can connect the head with the body. And I'll be right back after I sewn that. Okay, after you sewn the body, flip it inside out and then stuff it. Okay, after you, you flip the body inside out and stuffed it, attach the head to the body, which is pretty simple. Fast forwarding with a needle and thread, so yeah. Okay, now the head is attached to the body, body as you can see, it's all wobbly. It's now time for the arms, which is probably one of the hardest parts of the plush. So yeah, I'll explain everything there. So yeah, um, you're gonna be cutting out eight of this shape. Make sure it's the same size as the body. Pattern. Like, let me get the body. Be let make make sure it's the same size as the body, because if not, it's not gonna look like this color. Though. So yeah, let's cut it out, and you got cut out eight times for each limb, and yeah, and those two different parts of the limb. So yeah, I'll get to you when I'm when I hit there. So this one might be one of the most confusing ones. So you got so yeah, you got so there's four different pe there's two different pieces to these. And yet you need to cut out eight for each limb. And you each limb there's two upper limbs and two lower limbs. And the upper limbs you got so around the way around here. Around and leave this thing open. And then you guys for the bottom one, you can sew right here, and leave these two open, and then sew right here, and keep these two holes open. For the hand and attachment to the limb, and you got, and this is gonna be this repeated two times with this, with the other, upper and the other little. So yeah, I'm gonna be right back after that's done. After you sew them, flip them inside out and stuff them, they should look like this. This is the low ends of the arm, and this all the upper ends of the arm. And now sew these two together, and do the same thing with that. And I'll be right back when I do that. And after that, I'll show you how to do some silly monkey hands. So, you're gonna need to cut out this hand four times, because... It's gonna go on each of the hands, so I'll come back to you when that's all cut out. Okay, after you do that, now you gotta sew, sew a heel to a heel. Sew the whole hand except for this part, which is gonna be the hole you're gonna flip inside out. We might do it with both hands. Disclaimer, old boy. I changed the hand to look like this. But yeah, if if I ever turn back to Glow Attack, if Glow Attack actually has a good has a good spring update and doesn't have that evil crap, I will definitely turn back to it and make a new Glow Attack plush, a Glow Attack 3.0 plush. 
so I can fix the, everything, you know? So yeah, that's a little disclaimer. Even though this is not sewn yet, but this is. And after you flip, sewn it and flipped it inside out, stuffed it, that's what it should look like. And do it with the same thing with the other hand, if you haven't. Alrighty, after you sewn the hand and do all that crap, now sew it onto the lower joint. So yeah, I'll be right back when I do it, it with all the arms. Anyways, you gotta cut out this in gray, which is the stomach. It looks like this. You can put it on like that. Anyways, yeah, um, now all you gotta do is attach the arms, attach this hole so, and yeah, you'll be done. And I recommend attaching the arms with sewing materials or with hot glue. I like hot glue it in the inside after it dries and sew it very tight. And it, so it stay very, very sturdy. But I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna do that because it, this is a custom model, and I sewn this on pretty well. These on pretty well. I did a like how long they would last with a child, like wiggling them and all that. And th they did pretty good. So, and I also did it with the body. Don't worry. And yes, it was pretty good. So I think this plushie is almost done and ready to go. All I need to do is attach the arms, attach the stomach, and yeah, we'll be done. So yeah, all you gotta do is attach the stomach with hot glue. And then hot glue the arms on it, or, or sew it, which I'm gonna do both. And yeah, after that, you have your own Gorilla Attack plush. Finally. After you do all that, BAM! You got your own Gorilla Attack plush. All cute, all funny, and yeah, I really, really like this little guy. This is my Galotech plush. He's standing, yes, because he's leaning back. But anyways, yeah, I really do like this plush, and he's a commission, so he's going to be shipped out tomorrow, or or later, or before that, because this video will released on the weekends. So yeah, um... Yeah, this plushie will be shipped out on Friday. So, Glow Attack plush. He looks cute, funny. So yeah, hope you make. It, hopefully, hopefully you learn something new. And if you decide to follow this steps, post it. Post me. Post it to me. So yeah, I love the little guy.